Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Zimmerman and uh, welcome to part three of my ride in the countryside outside of Delft this past November. I hope you enjoy it. Love that image right there. People silhouetted over the bridge, over this canal. Very nice. Off she goes. Nice view of the canal. Somebody floating along in a boat. Nice little wetlands there over here, little canal, nice bird habitat, looks like we have a sculpture over there, oh there you go, weddings, events, meetings, cool, that might have to be a future Active Towns meetup. Have a full on meeting there. Show some videos. Maybe record some podcast episodes. Nice great heron over there. Some sheep. This is sort of the smaller scale that I'm kind of used to now. Seeing over the past couple of weeks not the big massive fields that we saw earlier on this ride and for those of you with keen ears you'll note that my squeak is gone that is because we have replaced a key part, the back hinge. Here's our wayfinding. Delft, eight kilometers this direction. I'm thinking it probably reconnects us to the uh, that main route that we were on earlier. So anyways, yeah. When I was in Amsterdam a few days ago, we replaced the rear hinge that was squeaking. It was completely worn out after over a decade of use. And uh, pretty much my whole drivetrain needs to be replaced too. <laughs> Didn't do that. We'll have to save that for a later time we see here that this is a 60 kilometer that's six zero kilometer route with no cars in sight but i should take note of that should i see a motor vehicle barreling down at me may not be expecting a bloke on a silly British folding bike. And a couple of riders ahead of us through the trees. We'll head this way. 
We've got a car coming our way. She clearly sees the cyclists, the people riding ahead of her. And here we are. Just riding through the countryside. We've got various agricultural entities. And it's all good fun. Looks like we have a little residential strip here. Let's go ahead and take it. Why not? From a North American context, this really is no different than when you have sort of exurban sprawl and or carving up some of the farmland for housing. Really the main difference is what you've experienced on this ride is that we can ride these roads, these streets quite comfortably and we're not the only ones. People are out rolling and strolling on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. So it's really quite comfortable. This looks to be some form of greenhouse off to the left. Doesn't really look like anything's being grown in there. We have one on the other side of the houses here. Greenhouse as well. Syngenta, that's a big agriculture name we know. Definitely big ag. This is interesting. Oh, hi chickens and bunnies. And right over there is a canal. You'll notice we do have lights here. This does not seem to be just some random private property pathway. This looks like a public right-of-way of some sort. Except we're just exploring. There's a tiny bridge over a tiny canal. Wasn't the smoothest of transitions there on that grate, but we survived. I wonder what little 
village we have here. <laughs> Look like big Christmas balls, holiday decorations. Christmas balls, Christmas ornaments, that's what I meant to say. Quite the little path down there. All right. Let's follow this family. It certainly seems more legit than what we just were on. Kind of lost over there in that farmland. Slash industrial agriculture zone and this seems like a a truly well established cycle route can't go wrong following the family unless they are actually going in the complete opposite direction in which case I'm in trouble Nah, it's okay. Okay, so that looks like fruit or gourds or something agricultural versus holiday. A little hard to see with the sun behind. behind us the Sun is behind us my shadow is ahead of us we're on an edge lane road cruising away from the Sun away from the ocean and heading back towards Delft okay we're uh, still on this edge lane road making our way back towards Delft we'll probably To swap out a battery this family has caught back up to us we are rolling past some sheep you can see that there is a driver being quite courteous being careful with the family up ahead and 
it's just such a joy to be riding on this beautiful day. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning into this ride along video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Uh, just click on that subscription button down below and ring that notifications bell. And if you are enjoying this content on the Active Towns channel, please consider supporting my efforts. Just head on over to the Active Towns website at activetowns.org and click on the support button. Well, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity health and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.